Welcome to VTech. In this video, we'll discuss about synchronization protocols that has to be used. Domain dependent specific rules and conflict resolution strategies. What do you mean by the specific rules? Rules are known as protocols. What are the set of specific protocols that has to be used for domain specific thing? And if there are any conflicts, how the conflict has to be resolved, we'll discuss in conflict resolution strategies. And this, the first one is data synchronization in domain specific platforms and data formats. What do you mean by this? Data synchronization between data generated domain and destined domain, both having different platforms and data formats. So here, the, the platforms or the data formats at two different devices should be synchronized. Then only the data will be successful present in two devices. Examples are a copy of database record at the device structure, text or XML format and the device OS platform Symbian. So if there are two different, they are to be synchronized. The record synchronized with the database record at the server where it is in DB2 or Oracle and OS is Windows. In the first case, it is in the Excel XML format and the OS is Symbian OS. In the second case, it is database record is in DB2 or Oracle and the operating system is Windows operating system. Both has to be synchronized in domain specific platform and data formats. Next one is domain specific data property dependent synchronization. Here we are going to consider the data property. Data synchronization between one domain with one property of data and another domain having different property of data. If the properties of the data gets changed, they have to be synchronized. Examples are a data record at a device having an ID specified by byte synchronization with the record with an ID specified with 16 bit word at the server. And the other one is 8 bit ASCII characters and ID at 16 bit at the server. Here one is with 8 bits and the other one is with 16 bits. So both has to be in the synchronized format. Either the first one has to be 8 or the second one has to be 16 bit. The data property has been changed here. And third one is synchronization up to the last successful act of synchronization means if there was a successful synchronization at the earliest stage. So we have to synchronize to that position where we were synchronized earlier. A domain specific rule that the data record considered to be synchronized if it was updated at the last connection. There was a last connection where the data was synchronized at a time interval t i. If the data is updated at t j seconds, so we have to roll back to the previous state and get the updated data and then it has to be synchronized. Examples are a phone book record of missed calls, dial numbers and received calls. So generally they will not be back every time. So synchronization will be done when we take the backup every time. Data record at the device synchronized with the record in the phone book. So with the record in the phone book, it gets updated. If the updated the last connection, it eventually updates again on the next connection. When the next connection happens, the phone book data gets automatically updated with the received calls as well as missed calls and dialed calls on the given number. Next one. Synchronization with temporal properties of data. So there are some temporary properties of the data where synchronization has to be done. So domain specific rule that data record synchronized with data generated at source within the specific time interval and time separated at the domain. So according to the time interval, the data has to be synchronized. The flight timetables and set of device synchronized every week and weather report every day. So here what should happen is the flight's information changes every week to week and the weather report changes every day to day. So they have to be synchronized with the data which has to be received at the destinations. And at the device, weather report updates are synchronized up to the last day and then eventually updates on day to day according to the data from the server. So this is known as synchronizing with temporal properties of data. Here it's a temporary data which gets updated every day or every week according to the application that we are using. These are different type of protocols that we are using. And coming to what are the different conflict resolution strategies. 
if there are any conflicts what may conflicts conflict is a problem that occurs when we do synchronization what are conflict resolution strategies what do you mean resolution strategy means if there is any conflict how it has to be resolved is known as conflict resolution strategies there are different conflict resolution strategies like priority based resolution rule time based resolution rule information based resolution rule time stamp based resolution rule the last one is user interaction based resolution rules so by using these rules if there are any conflicts we need to resolve those conflicts during synchronization in this the first one is priority based resolution rule according to the priority that was allotted to the data that data has to be synchronized which one has highest priority that data has to be synchronized between the devices time based resolution rule in time based resolution rule we are going to fix some time interval according to the time interval which data is more will be compared first between the data backup storage device and the data device and then synchronization will be done information based resolution rule the content of the information will be compared first and which has the highest size of the information will be synchronized between the devices to resolve the conflicts in time stamp based resolution rule we are going to fix some time stamps at different time intervals of time we are going to check what is the data available at max at the data source and the data storage and then synchronize the data and then resolve the conflict in user interaction based resolution rule we are going to interact with the user and ask the user about what data has to be synchronized and which data has to be synchronized in this way by using this any of these synchronization rules any of these resolution strategies we can resolve the conflicts that occurs during the synchronization so in this entire unit we are discussed about what is data dissemination which is known as transferring the data from one device to another device what are the classification of data delivery mechanisms those are push based pull based and hybrid mechanism what is broadcasting and what are the different type of broadcasting mechanisms that are available and then we are discussed about what is selective tuning and indexed method selective tuning means getting the interested data and tuning and caching according to the data what are the different mechanisms for them indexing method directory method hash based method and then alternative methods which contain temporal addressing and then use of headers and then we are discuss about what is synchronization what are the different type of synchronizations what are the synchronization softwares that are used and then what are the synchronization rules how the synchronization rules have to be used when the synchronization has to be used and then what are the conflict resolution strategies thank you